Alright guys, welcome back to another bucket plugin tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over my newest plugin that is in a beta phase called Energy Sword. Now if you've ever played Halo, it's probably already come into your mind what this is going to be, but I'm going to show you anyways. So I'm going to log in. Now in order to use Energy Sword, you're going to need a Golden Sword. Now why I chose Golden Sword is simply because it's not used enough in-game in vanilla Minecraft, because it sucks. Gold in general just sucks in vanilla Minecraft, and I wanted to create another use for it, similar to the Fire Lord plugin. So what you're going to do to activate your energy sword is right click, and I'll tell you that it's activated, and of course there is fancy harmless lightning strikes, because I find lightning cool. So I threw that in there, and I'll probably add a config file to disable that. Now. What this means when your energy sword is enabled is that, one, your golden sword will do massive damage. So let's go ahead and go over to this pig right here. And whereas if I deactivate it, it will only take, it will take two hits to kill the pig, right? Now if I activate my energy sword and go over here to this other pig, one hit. This is because the energy sword increases the damage output to 15, as opposed to the default gold sword output which will effectively kill most animals in one hit and monsters in two hits and unless the player is wearing armor, a player in two hits. Now for the fun part of this plugin. What you can do is if you shift click, like if you crouch, like I am right now, and click towards a mob while energy sword is activated, you will lunge at your target. And you can click it, easy kill, move on. Now you'll notice that it says two additional energy nodes have been depleted. That's because energy drains fast when you're in energy mode because otherwise there would be no downside to using an energy sword over a golden sword. So as you can see my durability is already fairly low. So I'm going to go over here and lunge at another pig because it's cool. Go over and kill him. Now what I'm going to do right now is show you that there is a cooldown for lunging. So I just lunged again. As you notice the lunging is a little... I just died. Let's go ahead and get this started back up really fast, because I'm going to show you the cooldown for lunging, and after that, you guys can go screw around with this, because I don't have much time. Alright, got our gold sword. It's activated again. Let's go out and find a mob. Alright, there, pig. I'm going to lunge at it, and then try to lunge again. It'll tell me I can't lunge for another 3, 2, 1, however many seconds are left. And that is because if you spam lunging, if there is no cooldown, it tends to get pretty messy, and nobody likes a messy plugin. Although this one certainly isn't clean yet. As you can see right there, the lunge very clearly failed because I was in front of a block. But I'm going to go ahead and cut it off for there right now because it's pretty self-explanatory. A um, few things to mention is that lunging will do an extra two strikes of durability damage to your golden sword, whereas hitting a pig or any other creature with energy sword without lunging will also deal another two extra durability things. So if you lunge and attack with an energy sword, you're going to do five total durability points to your sword. And if that doesn't make much sense, I, I don't blame you because I'm sort of rambling on right now as it's pretty much 12 a.m. and I don't have much common sense left to me. But I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there, guys. So hopefully this is enough to sort of showcase the plugin for you. If it's not, I'm sorry. I'll probably make a condensed version when this plugin is later in development. 